just wanted to make note of a report in the pack we put out overnight. Uh, automotive uh, Holdings upgrading that stock to an ad after a sustained period of having on a neutral rating and a sustained period of underperformance. Um, just as a reminder for those who have, haven't looked at the stock for a while, 75% uh, of the stock's uh, earnings come from automotive retailing, just like AP Eagers, and 25% uh, uh, from logistics. In automotive, they have about a 50% exposure to WA. And as a reminder, AP Eagers owns a 20% stake in the business. Um, basically, we see a couple of upcoming catalysts for automotive holdings. Uh, firstly, we do expect a pretty benign FY16 result. Um, I'm expecting a very soft uh, result from the coal logistics business, even below last year, which was which was soft in itself. Uh, but more importantly, um, the core automotive business, I believe, it will will post a very strong performance. Also, importantly, uh, the group. Uh, launched a performance improvement program back in February 2016 in relation to the logistics business. This was undertaken by PwC. Um, the market's understanding is that has been completed um, and therefore we'd hope the board is in a position to provide an update in this regard at the upcoming result and hopefully, we're not sure yet, but hopefully even uh, quantify some potential uh, quick and decent uh, cost outs and efficiencies which would hopefully mark FY16 as a low in profitability for the logistics business. Um, secondly, what's probably of most interest to the market, um, we're expecting that the board is, uh, is surely um, coming under increasing pressure from shareholders to take the harsh decision with logistics. Um, it's very clear that there is a significant amount of upside uh, to this valuation from automotive trading in its own right um, and basically attracting a higher multiple. Um, just by way of example, and I refer you to the note, we've undertaken a range of sensitivities, um, but if we assume that the cold logistics business is sold at 50 cents in the dollar and then apply a nine and a half times EBIT multiple to the automotive uh, earnings in FY17, we value the stock at $4.03. So yesterday's close of $3.99. So that's my way of trying to say we see very limited downside in the stock at these levels. Conversely, if we apply around 12 and a half times EBIT, and that's still still at a substantial discount to AP Eagers, um, and we assume again logistics sold at 50 cents in the dollar, our valuation comes out at $5.37 versus the last close of $4. The risk is we actually don't know if the board's going to make the hard decision, um, but what we what we do believe is in the short term at least, we believe we see that flaw in profitability, which will be a catalyst from the performance review. And what we also know is that there is a heap of upside from the board taking this action and therefore hopefully investor pressure on them in time um, will realise this result. And the view is widely held by the market. Uh, so we've upgraded to an ad. Our price target is $4.51. So that's over 15% upside to our price target. It's trading on 11.3 times FY17. It's offering a 6.2% fully franked yield. So over 8% growth up so it stacks up very well for our clients. Thanks.